Hey guys, Dr. Finney here, man, your plants doctor. Today, what I'm doing today is fixing an electric fan. This is a standing fan. Um, I went garbage picking, so to speak, and I saw this on the trash. Now, it didn't have a cord, so what I've just done is that I've just replaced the cord. Sorry I didn't show you how I, ha how I did that, but I had to do a little bit of conjuring. Um, I took the grill off and the, f the blade guard for the fan. So, because it's a little bit rusted around the area, so I have to sand it out a little bit and I'm going to spray it up. Get it in best looking condition as possible. Now, replacing it with a card and a plug did half the trick. When I plug it in, it's actually wobbling. Now, there's a little nut here, or screw here, that I should actually have in. I should actually put in. Which I'm going to do, which I think right there may help the case. It should actually have two screws that will fasten the fan to the shaft. So I'm going to put back, replace the screw and nut inside of this, which I'll do in a moment. But I actually think there could be. another major cause for this fan to be wobbling. I'm going to plug it in a while and show you what I mean when I say it's wobbling. But before I do that, my experience with these plans, these fans would have taught me uh, a lot and one of the most common reasons I'll say that these fans um, could go bad at times, they're not turning, um, they're wobbling like I'll show you in a moment, is a capacitor. They don't start up because of a capacitor most of times. Uh, most times, um, other than that, the shaft could become a bit pitted and rusted around the bearing area and that the bearing could become seized and cause the shaft to stick and your blade will not turn and people will be pounding, pounding on these fans and hitting them which really doesn't, sometimes you hit it if you have like a dry shaft or a dry bearing here and you hit it it will kind of give it a, a kick start and you will see it start turning slowly and pick up speed but if you eventually keep doing that drier the shaft gets, it puts more pressure and it gives more load on the capacitor. Now what is a capacitor? Before I show you it, I'm just going to briefly explain what a, what a capacitor is. A capacitor is an electric device, an electric component that creates an artificial, so to speak, or auxiliary phase in the motor a motor this basically is a, it's a single phase because it's a domestic um, fan so it's a single phase motor but what the capacitor does it acts as a second phase making it as um, sort of a two phase circuit so that second phase which you won't get in the short segment understanding fully you can look it up or I think in the future I will do some do a little video and explain for the capacitors and um, current and the frequency and how f single and three phase works and so on but that'll be in the future but all that happens the capacitor sort of gives this a, a kick start to get it started and keeps it it stays in the circuit keeping it running at a particular pace now i think that could be one of the reasons why this fan is wobbling like this i'm gonna plug it in now and show you what i'm talking about the wobbling so it's in and you see it start and it's turning, it's turning and I'm gonna, if you look closely I'm gonna show you at the side view If you look at it very closely, it's sort of wobbling a little bit. 
Right here. You see all of that fluttering, fluttering and vibration and shaking? I think that could be the cause. The capacitor could actually be the cause of that. So, we're going to test it. I'm going to unplug this. Always remember never to work on an appliance that's plugged in. Always unplug your appliances, electrical appliances. You want to mess with electricity. Trust me, that's one battle you won't win. So I'm going to show you what the capacitor is. You're going to get it out of the circuit. So here is our capacitor. This little black box right here. Before you touch one, especially one that has been in use, you short, make sure it's shorted and that all the electrical energy has left it. So as you see I done, I've done here, an insulated screwdriver, you hold the handle and just cross the metal shaft of the screwdriver across the two leads right there. And that will ensure it's discharged, that no electrical charge is left in the capacitor. Because the capacitor sort of acts like a battery, it stores a charge and creates for motors that extra phase as I told you before. So there's my capacitor and how I'm going to get it out, I'm just going to place my soldering iron right here. That's it. That's one lead out the way. That's the second one. So I got that out. I got the leads off. And I'm undoing it, the screw that holds it, the set screw that holds it. Oops. Anyhow, this is our capacitor right here. And there's a, a value at the bottom of it. Let's see what this is. So it's a 1.5 microfarad, 250 volts. And it's saying. five percent added or taken away so now that I have it out you have to have a special multimeter that can do this sort of test or a capacitance meter I have a multimeter that can do capacitance also but I have that in a box but I have my capacitance meter nearby so I'm just gonna use a capacitance meter so I'm gonna set it to two microfarads I'm going to place one lead, this is my meter, the capacitance meter, I'm going to place one lead here, the other lead, and we're going to test the capacitance. Now, it should be 1.5, if you look very clear, carefully, it's saying 0.391. So this is what I was actually talking about. The capacitance is, a, is very low. It's below tolerance. As we saw before, as I was trying to show you, that this actually says 5% added or taken away. This is way below 5%. So I think, just as I have um, assumed, that the capacitor more or less is bad. And I guess a person, that's why they actually went into this fan and tried to sort of fix it themselves. And maybe being frustrated and just giving up uh, it ain't work, it's not working, they just ripped the card out because they thought well they might could have used it, reused the card and they got rid of it. So what I'm gonna do all of that whoa whoa yeah all I'm, I'm going to do now, I'm going to test an next capacitor 
and that will be our part two. I'm, I'll test it, make sure it's good, and I'm going to put it in. So, sorry, but I have to do this in a part two. Finish this up in a part two. Thank you very much.